time. I reckon he moved. Oh. Or is that something else more? Okay. Oh my goodness. Hello, so they're metallic skinks. Yeah, no, that's all Maybe right. they come back metallic. and keep... Metallic. Welcome to the world. Okay, so today we return to the uh, salamander skink nest, a little nursery where there's been a communal egg laying. We've discovered it accidentally last week and uh, we've heard from a few people that reckon they're quite unusual. So we're just going to go back and see if there's any more hatched and if there's any empty eggs left behind or if the, the birds have eaten them all. Okay. Now, from the GPS, it's somewhere here underneath this hyacinth orchid stick. Now, let's have a look, see what we've got in there. Wow, there's still a lot of eggs there, but I think they're just empty shells. Oh no, there's another one. Okay. He's very gentle. Yeah. Here's one that hasn't. Well, there you go. There's a whole, hatched yet. wholesome egg. So they've and scattered out the, the hatchings. There's an old hatched, and there's. Quite soft one. touch that egg. Yeah. How deep they go? They're quite deep down and maybe it's to avoid the, the different temperatures or set them at different hatching rates. Different mother probably laid in different depths. There's one that you've found that's kicking around already. So he's uh, just had his little shell next to it. He's hatched on my hand. Cold morning, I guess he's a little bit slow. Wow, look at that. So alert, looking for predators already. Mm. Oh, wow. He's back into the nest. Into the safety of his little nest. So in all this vast area of the Woolwash, we've only discovered one nest and we've been here for a couple of weeks walking around and it seems very unusual that we haven't seen anything else quite like it. 
We feel very privileged to have, to have found and documented such a, a rare event.